Hey everyone, Insanity here and welcome to a Minecraft video. Today, I will show you guys 7 nano farms that you can build just under 5 minutes. If you have the materials, of course. To those who don't know what nano farms are, these are essentially farms in Minecraft that you can build in just a small space and in a small period of time. And it doesn't require you to gather too much item for it. The first thing on the list is the nano craft farm. The items that are suitable for this machine are carrots, where's the carrots, carrots, potatoes, and seeds. So what it does is it will must produce the said items in just a short period of time. So let's grab some seeds and go to the platform. I switched my game mode to survival so you guys can clearly see how much I'm getting from this uh, machine right here. So use this, flick this lever, and aim for your farmland right there, then hold, right click plant the seeds and we should see that it will produce a lot of wheat and seeds. I will explain what's happening to this machine. So plants that are planted on farmland need light to grow and the plant breaks if it doesn't have any light. So if I cover this up and break it again, it will break the plant. So I use that mechanic to create this monstrosity here. Now we have this piston that goes up and down because a retracted piston right here, a piston that is in normal state is a solid block and an extended piston is non-solid so which means that we can use this to let us plant and break what we planted so if i do this do that it will break the plant right there so when we plant the seed we need it to grow fast that's why we get these dispensers right here that have bones inside it in case that you don't know bones can make plants and saplings grow fast and that's the reason why it is a very useful item in terms of farming the only thing that is left to create this monstrosity here is a very fast clock to activate the dispensers and this piston. So we got this observer clock right here which powers itself endlessly. The redstone signals goes from its face all the way to its back and looping around to its face again and yeah, it's like eating a food and eating your... I didn't finish that because that's awfully disgusting to think about. So whenever I flick this lever, this redstone dust will turn it off and that will be detected by this observer right here which starts the fast and furious clock to make the machine function doing its thing, mass producing crops. So let's get everything started by placing a farmland right here and let's get a water bucket right here and put the water there and now let's grab a slab and put it on top of the water. Now let's grab our block again, where's our block, white concrete, white concrete, yeah, there. So now what you want to do is you want to put your dispensers like this, in this kind of formation like this, and put your blocks just between these dispensers. And now we're going to put our observer like that, a block here, and where some dust going like this, and that will create the observer clock. Now let's turn it off by putting this lever right here and flicking it. And now the last one is put this piece right here and we're done. Oh, also put this glowstone and everything that's right there. And now we should see if we put some ball mills. Where's the ball mills? Ball mills. So if we get this ball mill right here and put it on each dispensers like so. And let's grab some seed. We should see that it will must produce us some, it will produce us some wheat. So let's do it like this. And there. And there's our wheat. This machine right here is a cocoa bean farm. It is smaller than the previous contraption and by its name, its function is to mass produce cocoa beans. Right here. And cocoa beans are used to craft cookies and make brown dye. And that's the only functions that I know for it, so kindly comment below if you know what are the other functions of cocoa beans. If you flick this lever right here and aim for the wood right here, it will start the machine and just like the previous one, it uses pistons, dispensers, and observer clock to run this thing. Yes, cocoa beans can be bone milled, but it doesn't require sunlight because it is not a farmland plant, meaning you can place cocoa beans on farmland. I think I don't need to explain this in detail because it has the same mechanic as the previous one but rather than making plants destroy itself, the piston breaks the cocoa beans and that's how we collect it. So to build this, let's place- Oi! My god! 
you scared the hell out of me, you know? So you're not allowed to leave. You're not allowed. So where was I? Um, yeah, we're gonna put a wood right here. And dispensers like this. And we need our piston to face down right like that. So let's cover this up. And now let's place a block right here and an observer facing downwards and a block right here and a note block right here and blocks going like this and redstone going like that and lever and flick it down and lastly put your bone mills like so and now we got our cocoa bean farm set and done now let's grab let's grab some cocoa beans and hold this. this. Look at I put it on the wood. Very good. And here we go. Yeah, this is working. I forgot to mention that this note block right here is important to this contraption because this note block is updating this um, dispenser right here because this dispenser is only getting bad powered. So meaning, if if without if this note block right here is not here. Um, the dispenser will not get powered or get updated. So yeah, that's all Now let's take a look at the smallest farm in the list It is a nano flower farm and it is specifically designed for two black tall flowers namely namely lilac rose bushes sunflowers and peonies and This right here is the lilac now bone wheeling a too high flower will cause it to duplicate itself So we use that to create this farm Except for flicking the lever, player interaction is not needed in this farm, meaning you can just flick the lever right here and let the farm do its thing. You can clearly tell that this is functioning just the same as the previous one except for the piston part. It uses an observer clock right here to power this dispenser and that is all to it. We got this no block right here to update this dispenser constantly because this is just under the influence of by powering. Meaning it is not directly getting powered through redstone, instead it is getting powered through quasi connectivity. I think I have explained this farm in detail, now let's build this thing. First we need to put this dirt here, and now a dispenser right there, and a note block behind it, and a block right here. And a, dust, a redstone dust like that, an observer facing downwards and I, a block on top of the observer and a layer right here and that's everything done now lastly we gotta put our lilac right there and our bone will like this so now if I flick this lever twice it should be ready to go we are halfway done in the video I'm here to remind you guys that all of the designs here are mine I created from scratch and never look on a YouTube tutorial or whatsoever I will not put a world download because all of these are basic, so just follow the tutorial if you really want to build this. Also, I want you to know that there are these buttons below. I think the thumbs up means you like the video and the subscribe button means you like me. I don't know really, so to make things less awkward, subscribe to me for more videos like this and don't worry about the bell beside it. It will just make a ding dong. Oh my god, we're so close to each other. Okay. Don't worry about the bell beside it, so yeah, it will just make a ding dong sound like ding 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 dong, like that. Now, the next farm that I will feature is the auto growing plants farm. I don't know what should I call to the plants that are growing, so if you guys know it, just comment it down below. Anyway, the function of this farm is to give you the items automatically without interacting with it. So as you can see, I built 3 of these because there are 3 growing plants currently in the game. With the exception of the vines and coarse plants of course because they grow differently. What I did here is when the plant grows all the way here, this observer will detect it and it powers this block. Now this block will power this node block and also but powers this piston. So whenever this node block gets powered, it will update this piston. Which will extend when that happens like this. I put a node block instead of a redstone dust like this because having it like this is way cooler than doing the redstone dust. I know it makes things expensive but redstone guys just want everything to look compact and that is a fact. Hey you, why do you keep reviving? I don't want you here.
I don't want you. I want you to go away, okay? I will I will not kill you because I'm sick of tired killing you. Hey, I said don't go near me. Just go away. Just go away, please. Please. Ah, oh, you're going on my nerves. Mm, I just want to 360 kill you. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Just go away. Go away. I don't want any violence anymore. Just just go away, please. Go away, please. Can you do that? Good. Would you look at that? He finally left. I don't know where he went. If you look at the bottom right here, we can see how the items are being collected. We got this minecart hopper here to collect the items. So if you may not know, a minecart hopper can grab any items on top of the block that are directly above them. Now we are using that in this farm which is pretty convenient since dirt is a solid block so hoppers are useless in this. Almost forgot to mention that this glass surrounding the plant is essential because this prevent any items from going anywhere. Just keep that in mind, okay? Okay, now let's build this. So first, we're gonna put our chest like that and a hopper with a rail on top. Now let's put our glass like this and a glass on top of that glass and surround it with glasses like this. And now we're gonna grab our dirt and put it here and break that glass in the middle and let's put our water there now we're gonna put our piston like this our observer on top of the piston and let's put our block on behind the observer and our note block behind the um what you call this piston and now let's grab some glasses and surround it with the from the sugar cane like so and put it on top like this and cover the top and that's all of it and almost forget to put the minecart hopper i think i did not mention earlier that sugarcane bamboo and kelp are the plants that are suitable for this farm design for the bamboo farm we're just gonna copy this design right here and replace this sugarcane with bamboo and remove this water but for the sake of clearing things up and making it easier for you guys we're gonna do this right now so first we're gonna put our chest like that and a hopper like this with a rail on top and a hopper or a minecart hopper on top of the rail now we're gonna do this put the glass right on top of this chest and do this again and let's put our dirt at the side or on top of this minecart hopper now we're gonna grab our uh, what do you call this glass and let's put our piston right there and our observer right there and now we're gonna get our solid block and put it at the back of the piston or the observer and now let's place the note block at the back of this piston and let's cover this place up like so now we're gonna place our bamboo right like this and we're good to go let's just make our way up and cover this thing up and that's our bamboo farm done now let's do the auto kelp farm to do that we need a dirt for that kelp farm and let's do it like this we're gonna cover the place where the kelp will be growing and let's put our piston right there and an observer on top of the piston and a black on the at the, at the back of this observer right here you know block be um, below that block and let's cover this up right above here right there and now we're gonna put our chest behind this note block and a hopper like this a trap but a trap door to to stop the water from flowing all the way to the hopper because I don't want that to happen I don't know why but yeah and now we're gonna cover this thing up and let's put the water here like that and now let's put our cap if you can right there and that is all done and dusted the next farm is a cobblestone generator this farm produces cobblestone obviously why does it create cobblestone out of nowhere in minecraft having lava flow to the water makes a cobblestone so we got this nice setup right here where lava and water flows. 
So whenever the lava flow to this point right here, it makes a cobblestone. With that, we created a cobblestone farm. Ta-da! Are you wondering why did I not receive cobblestones earlier? It is because this minecart hopper is collecting it for us. Even before the item goes to us and that makes it losses because occasionally the item goes to the lava. Also, this cobweb right here is fairly important to us because without that we could break anything with our pickaxe. If you don't know, cobweb breaks like 20 to 25 seconds using any tools except for shears and sword. Let's create this now for ourselves. So first we're gonna put our chest right here. A hopper above the chest. A what you call this um cobweb. Above that hopper, a temporary block, a rail, a minecart hopper, like that. Break that rail and break this temporary block. And the minecart should be gradually going down like that. So next step is <laughs> yeah, I I copied it from here. So the next step is we're gonna make a yeah yeah we're gonna make a hole right here this is where the water flow will flow and next is we're gonna place a block here and a water source or blocks here before that water source so let's do that and let's do this and the, lo the water flows to that hole right there now you can break this. No, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Ah. Let's do that again. Let's place this water here. And let's put a block, a block here. And your lava is going to go here. Yeah, right. That's correct. I think it's correct. Yeah, yeah. Now you're gonna put your lava here. And it should, it's supposed to do a cobblestone right now. So lastly, we're gonna we're gonna remove this. We remove this. No, 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 no! Don't remove that. Why? Oh, that's why. Okay, okay. Let's do that again. No, no, no! Don't go there. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So let's put a block here, and let's remove and a block here also. And let's remove this no don't do that oh how did i do this mm. okay let's do this let's put blocks like this and and let's remove this yeah the, the water will flow there then let's remove this okay remove this and let's remove this there you go perfect so now we are good to go. Let's try this out. Let's switch to game mode survival. Then let's get our oh no wait. Let's get our let's get our pickaxe right here. And let's switch to survival. Game mode survival. And let's point at the cobweb be below this cobstone right here. As you can see, the cobweb is not getting destroyed because it takes 20 to 25 seconds before it breaks. So all the cobblestones goes to the minecart hopper there. And yeah, we're farming cobblestones. Let's move on from that embarrassing clip right there and take a look at this nano ship farm. As of 1.14, dispensers with shears Inside it can now shear a wool from a sheep. Now sheeps eat grass a lot and when they do, the grass will turn into dirt and they will bring their wool back by doing so if they don't have their wool on them. So I use that mechanics to make this farm work. What happens here is, uh, come on, the sheep will eat the grass turning it into dirt, this, grass, this dirt right here. Now this absorber below here will detect that and powers this block. With the redstone dust on top that powers this dispenser and that will shear the wool from the ship. If the grass regrow, the ship will eat the grass again and it will trigger the mechanism again. And the way that we collect the wool is by minecart hopper, just like the um, cobblestone one and the um, sugarcane farm. So we got this minecart hopper here with the rail on top 
and below that rail is a hopper pointing at the chest and here are the wool that we collected so far so let's get everything started by putting this chest right here and a hopper like that a rail or a rail here and a minecart hopper like this now we're gonna put our um, grass like that and grass like that and now we're gonna put our observer facing that dirt or the grass and we're gonna put a block here with a redstone on top and let's get ourselves a dispenser right here and let's fill this up with shears and last but not least the wall that will surround the ship so the ship cannot escape and that's the farm done now let's get a ship cover ship and place it, it place it here and we're done the last farm on the list is the auto melon slash pumpkin farm this machine will automatically produce its own pumpkin slash melon so the great thing about all of these designs here is all of them are lossless so when you plant a melon or pumpkin seed it will grow like this and the melon or pumpkin block will appear at this block right here and if you notice the piston is constantly firing itself because i set the game rule random tick speed to 300 now i will explain the nature of this machine as soon as the melon grows into this block right here the stem will blend blend will bend and the observer right here will detect that and it will fire this piston so every time something appears here in this block right here the piston will destroy it now i want you guys to think about how i did the collection system for this farm i'll give you 10 seconds just choose from the fall on the upper right corner of the video so timer starts now The correct answer is the minecart hopper inside a dirt. Yay! The first one who comments the correct answer will get a shout out at the next video. And I've got a challenge for those technical people out there. If you saw the clip earlier, Iron Golem takes two TNT explosion before it dies. I want you guys to make a TNT powered iron farm. Just comment the link of the photo of your invention below and I will feature it on my next video. Okay, it's time to build this farm right now. So. First we're gonna boot, first we're gonna boot, first we're gonna boot, and that's manlyhood right there, dude. <laughs> we're gonna put a chest right there, then a hopper on top of that chest, chest, then let's put a glass right there, a glass like this, a glass like there and there, and a glass right there. So now we're gonna put a farm that diagonally to the hopper, and let's put a water bucket there. And now we're gonna put a piston right there, and an observer like this. Put a pumpkin seed. Put a pumpkin seed on this um, farmland right here. Now we're gonna put a what you call this dirt on top. No, 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 don't don't do that first. Let's get this block and put it right there. And now we're gonna need a redstone dust. Let's put this redstone dust there. And now we're gonna put our piston like this and let's grab a dirt and put it on the face of the piston and now let's get a rail and put it at the top of the hopper and now a minecart hopper like this and last one is let's get a resin torch and this will power the piston and that pushes everything oh my god what happened here now let's put a rail here and a minecart hopper on that rail and be sure to take that off so you can avoid accidents and now we're gonna put a dirt at the face of this piston and get a redstone torch and power this piston and you should have something like a lot like this and i think that's all of it right yeah so you get your melon or slash pumpkin farm good those are 7 nano farms done and dusted. If you have any questions, just comment it down below. Give this video a thumbs up, it will surely help this video. Also, subscribe for more videos like this and hit that bell to get the most out of me. As always, thank you guys for watching. Bye!